Hi, I'm David. Have you ever heard the word codependency? And have you ever thought that, they're, that your mate or you may be codependent on one another and that you may be taking ownership of things that are his or hers and maybe you shouldn't? Well, this little illustration is very simple, but I think it's a powerful one that will help us to, to get a better view on how we only take ownership of, of what's ours. When my wife and I got married, we received a wonderful gift called a marriage cross, and it was two rings superimposed over a cross. And I think this, is a, this really epitomizes the way a marriage is supposed to look, where Christ is a center, center, center part of it, and the most important part of it. But there's a husband and a wife, and they're interlaced together. Whenever we do marriage enrichment workshops, we talk about the definition of, being, of marriage being something like this. It's two people who are very much alike, but at the same time being very much different, who come together and form a union that is stronger than either one of them could ever hope to be by themselves. This is a very strong grip. I've had 200 pound men on each one of my elbows trying to pull my hands apart, and they haven't been able to do it, to pull it apart, because of the strength of this grip. One of the other neat features about this defini definition of marriage that I like so much is that you can still tell my left hand from my right hand. You can tell which one is which, and the beauty, beautiful part of it is that each hand lends its own unique strength to the unity to make the unity work and to make the relationship work. The right hand honors the left hand, and the left hand honors the, the right hand, and there's a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful relationship that exists here. Another neat thing is sometimes when one of us is sick or weakened by something, the other one can hold on a whole lot better when a relationship is like this until the other one gets his or her strength back and lends that strength back to, 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 one, to the unity and to one another. There's wonderful um, mutual respect shown for one another in this kind of a marriage. So often we see marriages that have gotten like this where they're op opposing one another. Uh, and this isn't a strong grip at all. I've had little 90-pound girls grab a hold of my elbows, and I press hard, try to, try to hold my hands together, but they're able to pull my hands apart. And then we also see marriages that just miss altogether like this. But we believe that this wedding cross uh, diagram really does kind of epitomize the way marriages should be. The other, let, me, let me enlarge just the two circles here just a little bit to illustrate that even more. If this is the husband and this is the wife. There are strengths and there are different kind of things that the husband brings to the marriage that are uniquely his. And at the same time, the wife brings things to the marriage that are uniquely hers. And then together, they have this sense of us that really is what holds us together in the best kinds of marriages. What happens in marital conflict sometimes is that we don't reconcile some of these things. And we have conflict between these two because we don't find a way to pull them together. They fight with one another instead. And it happens this way too. The other thing that happens, going back to the codependency question is, we also see a husband saying, yeah, but what about this? Or a wife saying, well, if you just change this, life would be so much better for both of us. And all of a sudden, there becomes this kind of a focus away from the unity of the marriage relationship that, that, that was designed for us, and instead we start focusing on trying to make each other change rather than taking, uh, and we start taking ownership, as a matter of fact, of these attributes and make it our life's goal. Ah, it's going to be my life goal to make him make this change to this or, to him, or for her to change this way, and I'm not going to change until she changes, and all kinds of self-talk comes into play that becomes destructive to the, to the marital unity. Well, going back to the original diagram with Christ in the center and with a couple who has a wonderful sense of us, but a husband who has a wonderful healthy sense of self and a wife who has a wonderful sense of self as they lend themselves to one another in this beautiful kind of symbiotic relationship that is powerfully strong, they can have this beautiful kind of existence where they are able to still be free to be themselves and lend that strength to the relationship without it being a threat to one another. So I hope that you'll take a quick look at your own marriage relationship and see if it is something that is ordered along these lines or if it is something where you are codependent on one another, trying to change one another and focusing on things that aren't yours. 
The husband owns these, the wife owns these, but the marital couple owns these. Which part do you own? Mm -hmm. 